the other ones actually have a beep sound. Yeah, so that tick is picking up the frequency of the tag, so every time there's a tag nearby, we can hear that. And so we, we decrease like our, our range, basically, until we almost can't hear it, and then we'll know that we know we're actually close to it. It's better this way, because it's getting enough. Of and then we go over here. It's a bit quieter. That's a bit louder. So we know that this tag is still on the west side of the house, which is where we found the last six days since the exclusion basically that tag hasn't moved so we think this bat's either the tag fell off on this side of the house or the bat ended up getting stuck in there we'll have to go and figure it out okay so what we're doing now is we're driving around we've got the, we've switched antennas we got what's called a whip antenna so just basically like a tall bendable antenna on the roof so as we're driving through to our next uh, survey site, we have this on in case we happen to just drive by a tag. This one's not quite as strong as the handheld unit. So what we do is about every kilometer we stop and do a scan with a handheld unit, but we just may have to drive by the tag and the bat, and then uh, we'll pick it up. We actually found two bats that way, just en route to a new spot.